Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This one I'm just doing an acrylic design that I came up with using a Neonia's Pink Flamingo in two colours of my creation. My two of my products, the purple and the blue. And the pinky finger, I'm just doing an ombre with the pink flamingo from Neonails of the purple, which I haven't came up with any names yet. I'm just going in with a little bit of purple and go back and forth with each colour until I get the right ombre that I want. No, I haven't really done ombres before, so it's all new to me. I'm still learning as I go. Sorry it's been a while since I've done a video. So much going on, I'm trying to get my own products out and getting them all up and running. It's going to take a while. So hopefully this time next year they'll be on sale or maybe sooner we'll see see how far I get and I hope you enjoy this video and sit back and relax I know it's a little bit long but I am doing the full set on this ring finger I did try and do a the marble nail but it didn't go as well I expected. I come in the cuticle area with the pink flamingo there then I just dot on some purple, pink and blue. I try and mix them together but it just comes out one big mush. But it looks okay at the end once I add the glitter and everything. It just wasn't what I was expecting. But we'll learn by my mistakes. I just thought I'll keep it in and show you. If you see it at the end, it doesn't look too bad in any way. I just think that blue just overpowered everything. I do have another couple of more fidgets that I've got to do the voiceovers on. I've got the Model 1's gel glitters that'll be coming up. Also the Nicole Diaries dipping powders which I've got to do the whole footage again because I lost it all somehow. Don't ask me how, okay, do not know. Also I have a review on the Model 1's poly gels. We can't wait to do that. But still in the wrapper waiting to be opened. So I'm excited to do that one. So I'll be, these will be upcoming videos. I'll just need to get them done just getting ready to do all the face overs and everything mm. anyway I hope you enjoy this video let us know in the comments below what you think you know I'm not a qualified technician yet I am still learning We can learn together. You see, it just looks like a big mush, doesn't it? It's very windy today. There's ice cream there. Mm, so it's eating nice ice cream. The weather for it the day though, it's all horrible and cloudy. So it's going to rain. Nothing new there. Since the kids are on holiday, all it does is rain. Are you all enjoying the holidays with the kids? I hope you're all having fun. I think I've got my beautiful grandchildren coming this weekend. It's my daughter's birthday tomorrow. Yet. I think 
which is just going to be going to the pictures and not with a boyfriend. And then back to the nails. I'm just adding some monoma to the nail just so I can stick the glitter on so I don't add any more bulk. <clears throat> I do love the chunky glitters, but I do wish they'd done the, the smaller ones that you get next to the chunky, if you know what I mean, and the medium size. I wish have done pots of them, so you could just choose which ones you wanted, instead of mixing them all together. I know it is nice when you do a full nail, but, you know, just my preference. After I finish messing on with this glitter, get onto the middle finger. Like, always seem to take forever. Just perfectionist to me. Mm -hmm. Just gotta try and get things right. Oops, I'm not happy, so I'm still going to go in with a little bit more next to the cuticle area. I was having to think, should I put some on the pinky or not? I don't know. I think I do. I think I do put some little bit fine bits on. But I didn't record that. Advantage. Try up and finish that finger. And this middle finger, I think this is the one I do the three, the three ombre, mm. and purple, blue. Oh no, I'm still doing the glitter. Hey, dear me. Want it? What are you doing? Excuse my other hand, I still haven't gotten around to doing them nails yet. My right hand's all going to be grown up by the time I get around to doing my left hand. But never mind. <laughs> This is the one I'm doing with three colour ombre, the purple, blue and pink. Putting it up to the cuticle area, pushing it as close as I can get it. Sweeten it down the nail. Now these are good, you can have them like a jelly. Or you can have them as solid, depending on how much wet or dry you're using them. And they're really, really good pigmented. Well, I don't say so myself. <laughs> Took my own trumpet. <laughs> I'm just push it back up. Trying to get the ombre as good as I can. As I say, I've never really done it before. Just keep going back and forth with the colours, overlapping them. So I think they look okay. Flamingo pink. New nails, pushing it up to the blue. Pat, pat, swoop. Pat, 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 swoop, swoop, swoop. And add a bit of glitter to this one too. So it doesn't really matter if it doesn't unbreathe the way you want it. It's a glitter. Pays a lot of sins. Mm. is neat and tidy at that cuticle area. And just like magic of putting glitter on again. <laughs> Somehow I just kept forgetting to press record. <laughs> Dozy like that. Maybe I just do like a 
a kind of swoosh, swoosh it a little around the nail. Go through all three colours. Just picking each piece up where I want it. Tapping it into place. I'm going to show you the holographic on it, but it didn't really show very good with the light. Now, the index finger just do a full pink flamingo pink nail. I'm going to add the glitter as again. I do not like magic as I forgot to record it. Let's see if it comes up. I'm just swoop it down that nail, making sure I get it in when I need it. And nice and thin on the tip. I'm going to get it on the skin. And last bead up next to the cuticle area. Just patting it round. Pushing it up by the tip of the brush and pushing it down the nail. Making sure my apex and everything's in there that I need. I'll keep it as thin as I can still. I've still got to cut them all yet. Just a tiny bit, push, push that in the corner, there we go, perfect. There we go, just like magic, the glitter appears. Now on the thumbnail I just do a nice blue, leave it plain blue. I absolutely love this blue, it's so gorgeous. It's got such a beautiful shimmer to it as well. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful, I love it. I love all the colours. I've got 50 different colours. Just trying to get them all to just look at them up. Love to be done. Just that blue up the nail. Keep it thin at the tip as I say. Bit next to the cuticle area. How nice is that blue? Really, really nice. Now I think they're coming in. I think I've got to cap them all now. Yes. Coming in with the crystal clear. The only it's crystal clear. Nicely cut. I'll try and get them as smooth as I can so I don't have that much filing to do at the end. Making okay, sure I check all angles on each nail when I'm doing them. area checking I've got no dips very nice and smooth and cut the thumbnail I did cut the index finger as I say I kept forgetting to press record <laughs> At least you've got to see you still with some of them. I 
Now I went ahead and put some poly gel and I just put a little squish on the thumbnail. I did sand all the nails off camera and buffed them. I should say file the nails and buff them. And I'm just adding some crystals. These ones I got from Amazon's but the one in the triangle tray has philosophy crystals. These ones are these are just normal rhinestones. The ones I've got on there, cluster. And then I'll just pat it on there and then add all the other crystals. I'm using the wax stick to pick them up. Just place them on where I want them. I think this was the unicorn set I used from the Savosky, Savosky set. I just picked out a few that I liked and then I added some AB crystals as well. Excuse me. Now if you watch us do this thumbnail, I don't realise that the cluster starts sliding down the thumb. I just carry on, keep putting the little ones on, and then I think, oh, that's sliding. Then I catch it, so if you're watching, see us. <laughs> don't know how I didn't realise that it wasn't sliding down the thumb. My big head keep getting in the way of the frame. Can you see it sliding? It's going. And I don't notice. Greg Titch, it's sliding down the nail. And you just claw on with the zoom where you want them. But you haven't noticed that cluster sliding, Titch. Still not noticed. Yeah, the Svoskis EB crystals, I think they were the SS4, I think. I used the SS4 and the SS6 EB. There we go. I noticed, put it back into place. Just using the Urban Graffiti top coat. Now I've done the little finger as well off camera, sorry about that. And I also put the top coat on. Didn't realise me camera went off, battery died. I'm sorry, recorded the rest that I did. The top coat just brings everything to life. I love doing the top coat. I think that's everybody's favourite part. Top coat. Look at this. Just slow mo. Slow mo. Ooh wow, lush. Love it, love it, love it. That's gorgeous. Really do like this set. I'm so happy the way they came out. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Titchy One. If you already haven't. I do have other photos on there that I don't usually put on YouTube. Look at there. Beautiful. Gorgeous shine. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the next one. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like. Yes, I'll try and put the light on and see if you <laughs> can see the bling a bit better. Never mind. Anyway, divas, I'll see you all later. Bye.